Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fizz and Action Learning. If you are first time viewer on my channel, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get latest update from Fizz and Action Learning. Today is our second session. So in the earlier session, we have learned how to create custom description rule for the journals. And in today's demo, we will learn how to associate it with the events in the subledger accounting and subsequent prerequisite the setups so for that we'll go to the setup and maintenance and we'll go to the manufacturing and supply chain management same way you can go to the other modules also so now i will click on the cost accounting then i will click on the all task now in this demo, so first of all, you have to make sure that you cannot assign or customize anything within the Oracle seeded accounting method. For that, you have to customize your general rule set. You have to customize your accounting method. Then only system allows whatever you want based on your business method to achieve in the fusion system so i will click on the manage accounting methods and after that what i will do i will search the standard and try to search the standard accrual the seeded one so to customize the accounting method you have to simply click on the standard accrual and you can see that this is the seeded one and you have to simply click on duplicate once the moment you click on duplicate system will prompt what is the name you would like to set so you can set fusion accounting method then you can put the short name and after that you can put the description if you want and you can select your chart of account so we'll select any of the chart of account for now and save and close once the moment you click on save and close it will create your custom accounting method and associate it with your chart of account now if you see system allows you to change or to customize anything whatever you want so now you can see that it copied all the seeded general rule sets now within that you cannot customize so for that also we have to customize so now first we will learn that how to create the accounting method so now after that what we will do we will click on save and close so we have created the accounting method after that i will show you how to create the subledger journal entry rule sets without customizing the journal entry rule set you cannot edit your description rules so for that you have to go to the task manage subledger general entry rule sets that is your task and within that you can see that you have the account aliases that is your oracle the standard one now to customize you have to simply click on the duplicate and then what you have to do you have to enter so i'm entering fusion account alias issue and then fuse acc alias the chart of account so chart of account will select the same chart of account and then i will click on save and close once the moment i click on that it copied all the rules within the general rule sets and it will allow you to customize your SLA or the rule, the account, your segment, your company segment. If you want to drive, you know, the cost segment, you want, you know, the balance segment to uh, drive on the basis of some certain rules, you can do that. Now, since I created the custom one, you can see that everything is open and system allow to choose. So now, if I select the inventory valuation and if I go to the, so you can see that at the line level, 
you have the line description rule and the header label you have the header description rule so now if i click on the bottom you can see that fusion test is appearing so you have to select your line description rule and all these segments so whatever the rule you want you can choose you can customize that also we will learn into upcoming sessions how to customize the accounting rule how to create how to create custom mapping set everything we will learn into upcoming sessions you can drive your balance sheet segment company code everything based on your business need so now this is the point where you have to associate your description rule and once you done you have to make sure that you have saved your record and you have to make sure that what is the event where you have created these general rule sets it will be applicable and drive that particular value for that events only so let's assume we have created the account alias issue so whenever you are performing the account alias issue for the inventory valuation you can see that the fusion test so what we have defined within the fusion test the item and the item description that will be flow to the gl while importing the entries or while posting the entries into the gl now in the action you have the you can duplicate you can change the status active inactive so you have to make sure that the rule must be active then only it will be available within the accounting method to choose the general rule set so now we have created the general rule sets also and we have activated now after that we'll go back again the manage accounting method and now within the accounting method so we'll search our fusion accounting method and within that accounting method what we will do we'll search the event called account alias issue so you can see that it is prompting now what you have to do you cannot create your custom until unless you end date the seeded one so we are end dating that the rule is end dated by 30 september and now afterwards we are creating the new one so just you have to save once the moment you save the record after that you have to click on plus and then what you have to do you have to choose the event class so event class is miscellaneous transactions then the event type event type you have to choose the account alias issue and then once you so you have to choose the account alias issue so this one and now we have annotated this so you have to click on the rule set so you can see that within this you have the seeded one as well as the custom one which we have created just now and you can see that the status is active now the date you have to enter today's date so that it will be effective from today onwards for all the new transaction and then you have to save it once the moment you save it right you have to activate all your general rule sets the events otherwise it won't be effective while creating the accounting entries one more important thing the same way you can customize into all your respective modules respective areas the same way you have to do if i click on the rule set you can see that within the rule set what we have we have added the description rule so we'll validate again while clicking the rule set so you can see that we have added the description rule set now we'll click on the save and close and after that we'll click on the save and close so we have created the accounting method we have created general manage subledger general entry rule sets also we have associated the custom description rules also now after that what you have to do you have to go to the manage subledger accounting options so you have to click on that once the moment you click on that manage subledger accounting option you have to select your ledgers so you have to select your ledger once the moment you selected your ledger what you have to do you have to go to the cost management and since we have created we have customizing for the cost management so you have to select your respective 
application and you have to go to the accounting option within the accounting option what you have to make sure that general entry summarization will be grouped by general ledger date so this is what the option you have to make sure that you have chosen correctly while defining then only whatever the custom description you have created it will be flow while posting all those entries to the gl otherwise it won't be appear once you're done with this option what you have to do so we have created first the description rule in earlier session today we have created the accounting method the custom how to create then we have created custom general entry rule sets after that what we have created we have associated those general rule set to the accounting method we have done and we have gone to the manage sub ledger accounting options also we have set that summarization option after that what you have to do you have to activate your sub ledger general entry rule set assignment for all the incomplete entries so that is the program you can use to activate or you can click from the ui within the accounting method also both will work in the same manner once you done this entire activity you have to make sure that your accounting method you have associated to your primary ledger otherwise it won't get effective so that association you have to do that i will also show you before that once you done all this activity you have one option called update sub ledger application options so at the last once you done your association you created everything you have to run this program update sub ledger application options if you are not running this program then even though you define the custom everything it won't be effective you won't be able to see your descriptions the custom descriptions into gl even though you posted your accounting entries so you have to make sure at the last whenever you define your custom rule you run this program update sub ledger application options so we have done this for the cost management so we have to choose our application so we have selected the cost manager since we are defining all this custom and want it to be active for the cost management application so we have to choose this cost manager same way you select your receivable receipt accounting and all and you have to click on submit so what will happen once this program get successfully completed after that if you are creating your tr new transactions and you are posting into gl you will see the description detail so called the item number and the description against the inventory valuation if you are performing the account analysis same way you can define this rule you can create for other events class also now we'll move at the last to the how to do the association with the primary ledger so for that we'll move to the financials and we'll search manage primary ledger so it will prompt manage primary ledger and once we select so if you define you just note down your primary ledger and after that what you have to do you have to go to the specify ledger options so you have to just select and add then apply and go to task so you have to select your primary ledger and then you have to save and close once the moment you done it will prompt the ledger options and within that you have to assign your custom accounting method so you can see that the accounting method so sub ledger accounting so if you go you have to select your custom accounting method so this is the point where you can link your accounting method so this is how you can customize your accounting method you can customize your general entry rule set you can customize the description you can create the description you can do the association you can activate those and achieve your business requirement thank you thank you for watching my channel fusion action learning keep subscribing keep watching happy learning